from a place we're not allowed to reveal. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. And you know what they say about dark Italians? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. James went through Craigslist and found a posting that he knew we'd be interested in. Here it is. This is under the category of people who are completely delusional. From Craigslist, here it is. I'm a 34-year-old grandma. Yes, I made some mistakes in my life. So that little slut you produced here. I'm not looking to get married next week. I'm just looking for a little fun. Grandma's looking for a little fun. That's how all this started. My children and grandchildren are adorable. She's got more than one grandchild. You're only 34. My oldest grandchild will be attending pre-kindergarten in September. That means you became a grandmother at age 30, darling. So you were like 14 when you gave birth, and so was your daughter. Great. She says, I'm proud to be a young and attractive grandma. No, I don't have any baggage. <laughs> Are you kidding me? My grandchildren and their mother don't live with me. If you're old enough to have children, you're old enough to move out on your own. <laughs> Jeez. She says, I only have one child in the house. I just don't understand. I get hurt all the time. As soon as they find out that I'm a grandmother, they disappear out of my life. I'm in tears now. I'm a good person, and I just want to find one man. Okay, I'm just a 34-year-old woman with one child living at home. Maybe I should hide the fact that I'm a grandma until later in the dating process. Maybe I'm just closing too much too soon. I just know that I miss the company of a good man. I don't want to be alone forever. If you met somebody who was 34 years old and told you she was a grandma, wouldn't you head for the hills? I would. Don't you think that's baggage enough? You tell me. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. So you don't believe that marriage could be happy? You don't believe that it could bring people happiness? I think there's people who uh, jump from an airplane and uh, they're happy. At least till they hit the ground. <laughs> Feels like you're flying. Uh, it's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, it just gets more and more ridiculous as time goes on. And in this particular case, <laughs> we are talking about the 34-year-old grandmother advertising on Craigslist. She says, no, I don't have any baggage. Come on. Come on. Jason on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Tom. Hello, Jason. First, long-time listener, first-time caller. Okay. Well, I want to let you know about a story I have, my situation. Uh, I just graduated from high school about last year, 
and uh, I met a grandmother through my work. I didn't know she was a uh, grandmother right away. She looked about 24, so uh, I got her number, okay? Um, well, I ended up calling her uh, the next weekend to go meet up with her, and I realized that one of her daughters was my age and went to the same high school as me. Okay. So, um... I saw her, I saw, I, the first time I went her to her house, I banged her the first night. And that night, I just stopped calling her. I just call her every consecutive Saturday. From Did you find out how old she is? Excuse me? Did you find out how old she is? Yeah, I found out the, the first day, actually. How she old was she? She was 35 years old. 35, and you were how old? Uh, 19. Holy cow. Her daughter went to school with me. I had class with her younger daughter. What did she look like? Um, her daughter was, uh, she was average. But mom was, was hot? I give her a seven. Her mom was probably an eight. Her mom was oh. better than her daughter. That's for sure. And how was she in the sack? In the sack, she was actually good in bed. Great knockers. Really? What she looked like? She was a white lady, probably double D's. Mm. Uh, midsection, she was like whatever because she had kids. I don't think oh, she was. So she had the fupa going on and the uh, stretch marks and stuff? She had stretch marks. I've seen that for sure. Right. And I, uh, the reason I wanted to call because she thinks we're having a relationship right now. Ah. But, <laughs> but I never, ever call her throughout the whole week. The only time I call her is on Saturday from 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock, and I see what she's doing, and if she's interested, I'll come over. And every Holy Saturday, God. I'll leave by 12, complaining, saying that my little brother has to get picking up. I have to pick up my mom. Always have to be something around. Now, aren't you worried? Do you use a condom? Always. Aren't you worried what happens if the condom slips off or leaks? I'm a little worried. Because I can guarantee you she's not using birth control. Yeah, yeah, I know that for sure. Did she tell you that? She told me. She told me she wasn't. I asked her to make sure. You but know why she I... told you? Because she wants you to know when it happens. Right. She's having that baby. Right. But I try I try not to let it leak or break. I'll always be checking. So that uh, daughter of hers that went to school with you, is she the right. one who got knocked up? Excuse me? The daughter who goes to school with you. Right. Did she get knocked up? I mean, is this woman a grandmother is what I'm asking. Right. She has a, a young she has a young son. He's the the one who goes to school with you has a young son. Right. No, no. Uh, her, her, her daughter goes to school with me. And, and, uh, and her, her daughter, daughter has a son. Too. Right. Yikes. And the reason I called you because I was telling my dad about this. And, uh... He told me I was uh, ashamed. I should be ashamed of myself. For what? That's what I told him. He told me I should be ashamed for dating an older woman and uh, for talking to multiple girls at the same time. Oh, stop it. Exactly. Your dad's a pussy. Exactly. My, my father, let me explain to you my father. My father has been divorced three times, cheated on his wife twice, and he can, tells me that I'm a disgrace for uh, talking to multiple girls at the same time. Outrageous. No, no. The, the problem you have is that you're with a, um, a baby-making machine uh, who will crank another one out if right. you let her. I know, Tom. That's why I thank you. The reason I'm calling because my brother is the one who introduced me to you. Everyone was saying, Tom, don't listen to Tom Likas. But my brother, actually, Jesse told me to call you and to listen to you because you're, you're probably the biggest father figure I have in my life right now. Well, if we're up to me, uh, I'd tell you, uh, quit while you're ahead. Should I, should you think I should quit? Yes. All right. I, I there's a quit. reason. You, you know, I don't know how long you've been listening, but there's a reason women don't use birth control. Do you know what the reason is? Um, no. Because they want to have a baby. That's oh, that's true. She was talking about having a baby the other day. Well, day. well, Jason, why do you think she wants to spend so much more time with you? And then she tells you the two of you have a relationship. What do you think she's ramping up to here? Probably wants to have a kid. That's right, Tom. With you. Exactly. 
Oh, man. I need, I need to get out of the relationship, Tom. Of course you do. All right, Tom. Did she ever try to get you not to use a condom? The first day, actually, she pulled it off. Ah, uh ah. -huh. And I was, I was like, ha! So that was, that was a big warning sign right there, right away. Of course. Uh, d did she pull it off? Uh, she pulled, she actually, yeah, she actually grabbed under there and pulled it off and told me to go right back in. Did you? I no, no. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. So, uh, do you think well, I should get out of it? Well, Jason, uh, don't you have enough red flags here? Right. Tons of red flags from the first day. I mean, she has wanted you to knock her up. Right. Hmm. Is that what you want? Excuse me? Is that what you want? No. No. I need to stay single and uh, play the field. Well, then uh, enjoy what you've gotten and get out of there. All right, I'm going to lose the number today. I would. Okay. Thanks, Tom, for everything. You're a father figure to me. Jason, thank you. Boy, oh boy, the more I talked to him, the more obvious it became. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Kathy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Kathy. You know, I have another perspective on this. A 34-year-old grandmother who says she has no baggage, I would assume that means she has no other kids. So this is someone who obviously had a child 17, 18 years ago, didn't want any more. Now she's got grandchildren. This might be the perfect person to date because she but, obviously doesn't want any more kids. She's got a But didn't you just hear what the last guy said about the 35-year-old grandmother he was dating? He is dating? Yes, but she might have pulled it off for some other reason. She might no, just no. not like the No, no, no. Why isn't she using birth control? What? I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Why isn't she using birth control? Some people don't want to take the pill. I don't want it's, to. There's other birth control to. other than the pill. Why isn't she using birth control? I don't know. I don't I'm going to tell but you. It's because she wants to have a baby. I don't use birth control, and I don't want any more babies. <laughs> Darling, if you're not using birth control, eventually you'll have a baby. Well, let's put it this way. I don't want another baby. That so. doesn't mean you won't have one. Well, there's always an abortion. Well, my guess is, since you haven't had one in the past, you won't have one in the future either. Well, I had one early on. I had one when I was 18, and then I yeah, had Yeah, but you haven't had one since, and chances no, are you wouldn't have one now. Guy. And you're not denying let, it either. I let the guy use protection, and I'm saying I don't want and it to And if the leave. condom slips, leaks, breaks, is defective in some way, and you get knocked up, you're going to keep that baby. You're going to no, keep I, it. No, I would not. I'm not. I'm 42. See, I don't want so to. So you're, you're guaranteeing you'd have an guarantee. abortion. Yes. No doubt, no, not even a burp, not even a not scintilla even a, of possibility. No. Not even, no. One was enough. Mm. <laughs> but the point is, as I was saying, back to the woman that said she has no baggage, wouldn't you think that if she wanted another child, she obviously had her... I think if you got knocked ago. up, I think if you got knocked up at 15 or 14, then your daughter got knocked up at 14, you do have baggage. Well, I don't think it would have to be 14. It could be like 17 or 18. Uh, you'd still have baggage. How is that baggage? You know, we'll be, I'm going to tell you why. Because you if you have a 15 or 16-year-old daughter as a baby, that means you're doing babysitting. That means you are involved in that baby's life. The grandchild, you mean? Correct. Right, but that's fun. That's like you said you love. I heard a previous show where you said you just love having your nephew over, and then you can I send do. him home. I do, but it's not the same. It is not the same. By the way, uh, why isn't she using birth control? Same thing. You know, when you're 34, you could still get knocked up. That's true. That part's true. But all I'm saying is somebody that... Most women want a baby. They think they want a baby till they've had one. This woman's had a baby. She women who have... don't use birth control want to have a baby. Generally true, that's true. But, I, but I'm just saying in this particular case, she's had her baby. 
She hasn't had any more. Now she's got grandchildren. So I think she's gotten that out of her system. And Why would you assume like, that? Because she hasn't had any more, and now she has a grandchild. So why, you know, she if she loves her daughter... And she I, loves you know, I have known women. I have known women... Uh, in fact, I've known in families where a woman had had grandchildren at a relatively young age, then had another baby who was younger than the grandchild. That's true. Like you said, there's always exceptions. Well, no, no. But, I don't think these are exceptions. I think it happens a lot more than you're conceding here. Why hasn't she had a tubal ligation? Because she's leaving her options open. Could be possible. Probably. Uh, I don't think probably. Again, why haven't you gotten a tubal ligation? Because I'm because the guy I'm very religious about the guy having um, uh, using protection and it's worked for me. But it's don't you know me. that condoms it's are only ninety five condoms years. are only ninety five percent effective? Well, it's worked for me. It's worked for all my friends that I know. Hey, you. But uh, fine, you know what? If I jump off a building five times and I live, that doesn't mean it's going to keep my luck is going to continue. What was the percentage that you think condoms are effective? Ninety-five percent. Well, that's a pretty good percentage. Yeah, that means if you've had sex a hundred times, you might have gotten knocked up five times. Mm -hmm. Right? Well, I don't think that's how the statistic would read. Oh, well, how does it work? Well, it wouldn't mean that every woman that has sex every hundred times well, then you're going to get pregnant after the... You know, it's an 90, average. It's an average, and 95 is a pretty good... That means for some people it's 90, and for some people it's 99. Okay. Have you ever had a show where you've asked people to call in where they've used a condom and got someone pregnant? Because I bet there wouldn't be that many cases. Darling, there are thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. We, you don't even have to do a show like that. Guys like that call in here all the time, all the time. Well, I guess I've been lucky now. <laughs> yeah, well, that it doesn't mean your luck is going to continue. Hang on a second here. Kathy, what did you want to say to Amanda? I'm sorry, Amanda, what did you want to say to Kathy? Absolutely. Kathy, I have a question for you. At 42, what makes you think that taking a pill is not a better choice than having a, an abortion? Do you have any? You said you've had one before. I'm assuming you have some general idea of how hard they are on your body. What makes you think that using some spermicidal lubricant, taking a pill, doing something other than using a condom is not going to tax your body as much as an abortion? That's absolutely ridiculous. And you claim that you're going to have an abortion, but chances are you're not going to because they probably wouldn't even give you an abortion. Mm -hmm. Well, like I said, I've been, u I've been using this method for over 10 years, and it's worked for me. How many kids do you have? What? How many kids do you have? How many times have I had sex? How many kids well, how do you many have? How many children do you oh, have? Because one, I'm using one. the pill and I have zero. I have one. It shows that my using... method is a lot better than yours. And I, I have, well, I wanted to one. I don't have to lay my feet in stirrups if I make a mistake. Use the pill, use the condom, it makes sense. Mm-hmm. Well, we're using a condoms work for me, number one. For me, it's work. <laughs> I have sex, I have sex every week. I have sex at least once a week, if not more. And it's worked for 10 years. So in the case that if for some reason the future didn't work, then maybe I consider using a birth control pill. But I have right now I don't need to because what I am doing is working for me. Because time you need to, it's too late if, if you're using your logic, which, which isn't really considered logic. It is logic. You're not thinking logically. I'm saying I've used this method for 10 years, and it's worked for me. I you once, and my method has never failed me. Well, this has never failed me either. Okay. Tom, can I speak on the girl that said they weren't mining oil in Alaska also? Because I used to live in Alaska, and if you've ever heard of the Exxon Valdez oil crash, that's... Yeah, they're not, they're not very high on oil drilling. Uh, you're absolutely right about that. But we got to keep this topic going, and that's what we're going to do. James, what did you want to say to Kathy here? Uh, this thing is absolutely crazy. I don't know what she's talking about. You know, when a 37-year-old woman is... Uh, I'm sorry, a 37-year-old grandmother is... You know what I mean? I mean, come on, that, that explains it all right there. And, you know, to, to think that you to just have an abortion to fix everything is, is just absolutely retarded and leave, and leave your body 
and uh, you know the fact that you might get knocked up, up to someone else that is that is stupid. You need to take control over your own self, and uh, you know, I mean, it's just retarded. I don't think so, you were listening. I said, I mean. Uh, we're using a condom method, and it's worked for me for 10 years. Yeah, but that's, this, what, that's, that's what I'm always proposing. Yeah. That's what I'm always proposing. You're going to rely on some doctor to come in there with tools and throw them in your bits and pieces well, to get rid of something. I have a natural job. You know what? That is absolutely insane. You know, but you, I mean, <laughs> that's just nuts. You're, 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 you're just crazy. So, a lot of work for me. I guess you want to. I guess maybe you want to put it all on the woman. And Tom, you're always no, 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 no. Because it's a two-way street. It should be on both people. But for you to expect it to, uh, to depend on totally on a man for that, and then what if it ha- You know, what if you do get knocked? No, no, I'm not depending on the no. And abortion is not. Well, uh, you are because you're not using birth control. You expect the man to use. It. Exactly, exactly. So you're relying completely on the man. Hey, you talk about relying completely on the woman. I'm not talking about completely relying on the woman. I think men should always wear condoms. I also exactly. think women should always be on birth control. Thank you. You know, it's a two-way street. If you're going to have sex with somebody, you know, you, you both need to understand that that's what's going on, you know. And, you know, and birth uh, controls aren't completely safe. So if you want to get into that subject and get into the depth of what are all right, what are the dangers of the cervical cap? I'd like to hear. Yeah, give us a list. But, well, let's go back to birth control. No, 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 no. Let, let's talk, talk about. Talk I'm talk. I'm gonna now. I'm gonna quiz they you on what you just said. The over- cervical cap. What is the danger to women? I want to hear what it is. So you're saying someone should use it? That's I, that's I didn't answer. Don't condom. answer a question with a question. I'm asking you. What is the danger to any. women of a cervical cap? What is None. it? I didn't say there was any. I you just said none. there's danger to women in using birth control. No, I said birth control pills. You didn't let me. You didn't. Darling, uh, again. So there's eleven other, twelve other forms of birth control. You don't. You refuse to use any of them. Well, we weren't talking about that. We we're talking about the. Pill. I'm talking okay, about you. You're pill. not going to tell me what we're talking about. I'm the host of the I show. Just said, why isn't she? We're on talking about what I want to talk pill? about. That's what we're talking about. Exactly. And right now, I want to talk about the fact that on the one hand, you say, "Man, you want to put it all on the woman," and on the other hand, you don't want to do anything. You don't want to do anything to prevent an unwanted child. Well, yes, Nothing. I do. I have the. I you have don't the want to do anything. You don't do anything. You don't do anything to protect that. No, you don't. I've got them in my. In my nightstand. I'm not talking about condoms. That's what that you you both need to be on birth control, not just him. Well, again, it's worked for me. So, but so you want to put it all on the man, right? Right. No, just saying. In this case, it can be either. You one. want to in put it case, all on the man. I'm not putting it all on anyone. I'm yes, you are. Anything. Yes, you are. You're putting it all on the man. Well, then why are you so, well, then why are you so You are in no are position to complain about people who want to put it all on the woman. You want to put it all on the man. I don't, no, I don't think it should be. I think it's enough to have one of the partners using both. It's not enough. It is not enough. It is not enough. Hang on a second. Nikki, what did you want to say here to Kathy? I want to say this, Kathy. First of all, you say you're religious. For religious reasons, you want to oh, use. I didn't say that. I said religiously, like I do it religiously. We religiously use. Condom, but I didn't mean a, in a right. religious context. Right. Okay, well, anyways, at this point, I can tell you this. I agree with Tom, and this doesn't happen very often, but I, I agree with him 150%. And the truth of the matter is, is this. You don't want to get pregnant, you got to get a tubal. I got a tubal at 34. I got a divorce. People were saying, oh, but if, what if the other guy wants to have a baby? I didn't want to have one. I took responsibility for it. So you're going to be one of those people crying in your coffee how you didn't want to get pregnant. But meanwhile, the guy's rubber slipped off because somehow uh, you didn't catch it. I don't, I don't know. How, 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 why do you think it's not your responsibility? Oh, well, that's interesting. Wait a second. But I do have the morning after pill in case that ever happens. Right. So I have covered myself that way. If there was ever a slip, if we found out that it broke, if whatever, I do have a morning after pill it just in case, which I haven't had to use. Right. Well... The, the thing about it is the way you're talking is moronic. It's just completely moronic. Not really? I think it's very logical, and you're moronic. It's not logical. If you don't it's see the logic of it. Now, you're very stupid if you don't see the logic of it. I'm no. using a method for 10 years. It's worked for me. I have a morning after pill ready if there's ever an emergency. It's worked for me. Right. Here's the thing. It's not going to work for you one day, and then that guy's going to have to pay because you 
spent your life thinking it's his responsibility. Your body is not his responsibility. I didn't your say it was your his ability to take care of your future is not his responsibility. I am taking care of my future. No, you're not. You're not taking care of anything. You're making someone else do it. So you're saying it has to be all on the woman? I'm not saying it's all on anybody. I'm saying take some responsibility for yourself. If you absolutely want to I have sit there and in not my, have I have condoms kid. in my nightstand, and I have morning right, after right. pill in case there's an okay, emergency. Okay, so you, are you going to wrap the condom plan. around yourself? I'm you saying, know what? what you my my gynecologist, do you know better? Are you a doctor? Are you a gynecologist? No, I'm not an idiot like well, My though. gynecologist thinks that this is a good plan, a very good gynecologist that teaches at UCLA. So are you saying, or Tom, neither of you are gynecologists or trained, so they... No, oh, you know what you are? Very, you're somebody that Excuse wants me, it really to doesn't matter what you responsibility think. on somebody else. Because no, you don't want to take responsibility it's a plan. for Everyone yourself. Have a plan. Yes, it is. It's called yes, birth it is. control There's, planning. Uh, no, the only thing you're planning is having some guy stick something on his, you know, when you're doing something. That's all you're planning. You're not planning anything. And you're That's definitely not taking plan. care of anything. That's you're just taking the responsibility plan. off yourself. And then when the poor guy does get you pregnant, you're going to get an income, I guess. Is that what you want? That's a birth control plan. Yeah, it sounds like your birth control plan. It's worked for me. Oh, I bet it does. <laughs> He's a one-note song here. Unbelievable. <laughs> Tom Likes. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I just start watching your show or whatever, and I'm hearing all the stuff that you say. Where are you, outside the door? A little bit. I'm driving. No, I mean outside my door. You said you just started watching the show. Oh, yeah, you know what Where I mean. Where are you watching like, from? On the radio. Oh, you just started listening to the show. Oh, see, there you got time to be funny. The Tom Lakey Show. It's the Tom Lakey Show. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Mr. sent us a uh, posting from Craigslist. The 34-year-old grandmother who's crying, crying. Because when people find out she's a grandma, they run. They run. Of course they run. She says she has no baggage, by the way. Jody on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Ah, how are you? Great. Tom. Tom, Tom. You're dead on on this one. Dead on. Any 34-year-old woman, period. Whether she has kids, not grandkids, no grandkids, has baggage. Period. Just the fact that you have a teenager who's in school with a kid. That, that's all I need to know. Yeah, I don't want any baby's mama showing up on my porch saying my son got them pregnant. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I make him listen to you. I'm serious. You, they don't call you professor for nothing. You're right about that. Yeah, I, I mean, seriously, this lady's crazy. <laughs> she is crazy. No doubt about it, Jody. Thank you for the call. Sergio on the Tom Likas show. Hello. What's going on, Tom? Not much, Sergio. My friend, Mark Wiseman, I want to thank so much. He turned me on to you about a month ago or two, and I started listening to you around Father's Day. And my dad's such a jerk that I try to get a hold of him, and he totally dissed me. How's that? <laughs> Wow. I, mean, you know, I, I know, that's pretty cool because, you know, I'm exactly the same way. I'm a jerk to all women. And I didn't even know, you know, I was a jerk. I was just, you know, just going over at night. I've been doing this for years. I'm 25. I've been doing this since I was like 16, 17. <clears throat> I go over their house, you know, late at night because you don't want to spend anything. And, you know, just do your thing and then leave. One in the morning, two in the morning, whatever. Anyways. What I was calling about, that is way too much baggage, you know? That's just ridiculous. <laughs> One kid is enough baggage and things that, you know? It's just ridiculous. Just, if you gotta go to a baseball game or anything or for a little kid or anything, that's just enough baggage. You know what I mean? And thanks to you, I'm considering getting a vasectomy. What do you think about that? <laughs> well, uh, if, if you can find a doctor to do one at your age, I'm all in favor. I mean, is it easy? I'm, I'm, you know, there's a lot of doctors that probably won't do it, but, you know, I've been listening to you, and a lot of it makes sense because a lot of these girls, are, they're, oh, my God, they're just so bad with it. 
especially these L.A. girls. I mean, he's got to, I mean, I don't have much money. I go to school, you know, I work part-time here and there. You just dress up, play the part, and, you know, you basically got them. Yeah, I mean, you get a vasectomy and don't tell the women you've had a vasectomy exactly, and you're off to the races. Exactly. <laughs> yep, so that's what I was thinking. So Sounds good to me. Pretty crazy, though. No doubt about it, Sergio. Thank you for that. Elvia on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? I'm doing great. Hey, Tom. Have you heard of the uh, roll with the punches rule? Have I heard of it? Yes. In reference to what? Uh, to women. Uh, again, means, in reference uh, to what specifically? Oh, well, you know, if you knock her up, you got to roll with the punches. You gotta well, you just have punches. an abortion, and then you'd have no, no punches to roll with. She doesn't have to roll. The sperm is a commodity. It's a it's it's a commodity. So well, that's why the guys should keep it to themselves. Property. That's right. They should keep it themselves. But they're going to be stupid. Then too bad. If women are going to be stupid and get pregnant by a well, that's why I'm telling guys when you see a woman who advertises yeah. in Craigslist that's and says she's a 34 year old grandmother with no baggage, run the other way. The guys have to be smart. Not to get the girl knocked up, and the girls have to be smart to make sure that the guy has money to support her ass. Well, it's roll with the punches. You got. I, roll I with don't the think that's the correct right. use of the term "roll with the punches," but that's beside well, the point. That that's the way it happens. You knock her up, and you know what? You just gotta you know keep the kid, and don't forget about this. You don't have to keep role. the kid. You no, do not you, have to keep the kid. You, you, you do have not to have to kid. do that. You you can keep the kid, and you don't you don't have to have an abortion. They forfeited their rights when when they knocked you when they got you pregnant. Again, oh. you don't have to have you the baby. Have you can you have, have an abortion. It's a commodity. You don't have to have an abortion. It's your body. You could do whatever you want. So are you out there trying to get knocked up, dear? No, no, I'm not. I don't have to. I what have you don't have income to? and I'm married. I don't have to do that. But, you know, I get tired of you, you know, telling this man, you know, to uh, have this Hail Mary rule and everything. Well, yeah. don't cry. Hail don't Mary cry rule, absolutely. It. Don't cry about it when you knock someone up because there's a rule with the punches rule. Don't cry but about it. But you can it. also use Suck the Hail Mary, Suck and the Hail Mary is very, very effective. Suck it up. No, you don't have to do that. You don't have oh, to. Oh, why that. not? I, the guy should all why do that. Any why man out there who has a way why? to talk a woman why? into having an abortion has got why to use it. To got to use it. A moral sin and carry that with you. He's not the one that killed you. It is, there's no moral sin there. You know what? When you start effing a man without being no, married not, to him, you've already committed sin. the moral that's sin. You've already done sin. it. There's a different sin. It's a you've different all, no, it doesn't sin. matter. It's it's, you know sin. what? If you're Catholic, it, if you're Catholic, fornication a is a no. sin. It's a no, mortal there's sin. There's that's the bottom line. Different sins. There's three types blah, of blah, 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 blah. You're not the Pope. I'm telling you, it's a mortal sin. That's it. You could have sex with someone. That's okay. You're not. No, it's not okay. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. No. I'm not going to let you go on like that. You know, my sister may have tried that when I was 12 years old, but you're not going to get away with it. Saying the same thing over and over and over, you're not going to get away with it. If you're worried about sins, then you shouldn't be banging around without being married. Once you've banged around without being married, you're in no position to be talking about sins. So everybody out there, every guy out there, if you knock up a chick, use the Hail Mary and get her to have an abortion. That's it. You have to do whatever you can to get her to have an abortion. Period. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Paul on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Long Great. time listener, first time caller. Cool. Hey, uh, that lady with the, using a condom and it's worked for her for 10 years. I got a classic example uh, of... Uh, the need to use birth control. Uh, started having sex at 12 years old, 27 now, unprotected sex, maybe use a condom once or twice. Uh, never got a girl pregnant. Three years ago, got a girl pregnant. She got an abortion two months later. Got another girl pregnant. She wouldn't have one. Uh, thought I was doing the right thing, moving in together, and now my life is a living hell. Yep. It's a complete disaster. I work uh, 50 to 80 hours a week trying to support my family. I can't get her to get off her ass and get a job. 
you know, afraid to move out and leave because of, of the child support. I mean, if I if I knew that I could take the kid full time and bail, that w- I would do it in a heartbeat. Mm-hmm. So, what is your recommendation to the boys out there? <clears throat> Use a condom. I mean, be smart, man. Uh, make sure she's on birth control, whatever. Protect yourself the best you can. I mean, that guy talking about the, getting the visectomy or whatever. Uh, yeah, if they'll do it, go for it. Uh, it it's, it's crazy out there. I mean, th- when I met this girl that I'm with now, she had a job, was doing good, a car, everything. As soon as she got pregnant, all of it out the window. And uh, here I am three years later, my daughter's going to be two. I mean, wonderful kid, but... The situation is a nightmare. Living nightmare. Why do you live with her? Well, I, I'm asking myself that question now. I mean, in the beginning, everything was cool. It was fun. It was happening. But uh, as soon as that kid was born, thinking, all right, cool, she's going to go back to work, I went out the window. So now, I mean, I'm at the point where I'm I'm looking at my options. What What do I need to do? Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm trying to save up my money on the side so I can get another place and get the hell out of there. Good luck, Paul. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. Liliana on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Great. Uh, awesome. Well, I was just telling um, the person that answered the phone that my husband and I both use, you know, he uses condoms. I use his birth control, the pill. And there's no way it's going to go down unless it's, you know, we're both taken care of because I don't want any kids. It's too hard. And right now, with the recession going on and people losing jobs, is this really a good time to be making more commitments? You have no idea how many friends I have right now that are pregnant. And every time I hear them, it's like, when is your turn? I'm like, I'm not even trying to go there. It's, it's ridiculous. I'm, you know, I'm 28. My husband is 30 and we're having so much fun. We're always partying and just having a good time. And we have such a great relationship. Why would we want to ruin it by having a kid? Uh, boy, you know, you're preaching to the choir here. <laughs> yeah, it just, it, it makes no sense. I, I mean, 50 years ago, okay, it was fine, but now it's like, it's reality check. It's not, you know, a good thing to have a kid right now. It's, it's too hard. If ever. No, I, I totally agree with you 100%. I listen to you every day. I got my husband listening to you as well, so we're both big fans of yours. We are, we really appreciate what you do. Thank you so much, Liliana. All right, well, you take care. It was nice talking to you. Appreciate the call, 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Joe on the Tom Likas Show. Joe. Joe, are you busy over there? Joe is listening to the radio. Uh, rather than uh, turning the radio off like he was told. And that means he wants to waste 70 seconds of airtime. And he is um, going to wait until he hears the name Joe spoken on the radio. But because we're in delay, he won't be hearing that for a while. Everything I'm saying now appears on the air 70 seconds after I said it. That means we have to wait a total of 70 seconds for Joe to respond. Joe will find out when he finally does respond that he's wasted precious time because we're coming down to the end of the hour. And he won't have time to say what he planned to say. He probably thinks I'm talking about another guy named Joe, but I'm not. I'm talking about him. We'll find that out very, very soon. Joe's just sitting there twiddling his thumbs. Uh, Joe, are you there? Mm. Ah, there he goes. Gave up finally. Unbelievable. All right, our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Uh, you can hear our show streaming live at our website, blowmeuptom.com. You go there between 3 and 8 p.m. Pacific time. Click on the Listen Live button at blowmeuptom.com and you'll be listening live. God damn it. The Tom Likas Show.